Hi everyone, welcome to a new video series we're calling Paint Defects 101. My name's Kevin Ansel, application engineer for 3M. In this video and the next couple videos, uh, we're gonna show a couple different paint defects uh, that could show up during your painting process or during your finishing process. I'll give you some tips and tricks on to how to correct the issue and how to prevent that from happening in the future. Before we get started, let's go over a few things. First, make sure you're wearing your proper PPE whenever you're using any of these products. Second, this video is intended for occupational use only, like in a body shop or a paint shop. If you want to learn more, we put the link to the safety and warranty information in the description below. Now let's get started. There are a lot of different types of defects that could show up in your final result, and each one really needs to be treated differently. Uh, throughout this video series, we're gonna talk about five common defects that show up, how you can identify them, and how you can prevent them. The first defect we're gonna identify is fish eyes, or paint rejection. That typically occurs whenever there's uh, contamination in the area or contamination on the panel, such as silicone or wax, that allows the paint to not properly adhere to the surface and kind of leaves a little crater left behind. The next defect we'll talk about is orange peel. A little bit of orange peel is good, but we wanna make sure that the orange peel that's on the repair area will match the orange peel that's on the rest of the panel, or the rest of the vehicle. The third defect we'll cover is dirt nibs. Uh, dirt nibs typically occur whenever you're painting in a, a dirty environment or a dusty environment. Um, usually whenever there's you know, a speck of dust or a speck of debris that lands in your finished surface, that causes an imperfection that needs to be removed before you can return the vehicle to the customer. The next defect we have is uh, around pigtails or curlicues. Uh, that defect usually occurs whenever we're using our finishing film, removing any of the defects that I may have mentioned in some of the previous steps. Uh, that could look like a, a pigtail or a spring or a curlicue, and that's really just a deeper scratch that's in the surface. You wanna make sure you remove that properly, otherwise it might show up after you get done with your compounding step. And then the last defect we're gonna cover is swirl marks. Swirl marks is a pretty common result whenever you're doing your compounding step, especially when you're using a wool pad. We want to make sure that we completely remove those swirl marks with our polishing step, just so that they don't show up when we return the vehicles to the customer. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment in the section below. Make sure you share and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you check us out at 3M Collision Repair Academy. Until next time.